the channel, Mark Matt, another video. Hope you have all been very, very well. It is currently, well, I was gonna tell you the time, but it, I was gonna actually tell you the date because it is currently Monday the 17th of April. It has been a while. Um, I have got a lot of editing to do, which you'll see in this video, um, and all that good stuff, but I thought I would get you picked back up the routine going again. I'm not sure if there'll be one video a week, two videos a week, or three videos a week, but we're just gonna play it by the field. And we are kicking off today with a lovely, oh, what are they called? But it's basically a chicken, bacon, cheese, and like barbecue sauce, as you can see, that my mum and dad kindly picked us up from the butchers. Um, so me and Kate are gonna have them for tea tonight. Um, but yeah, like I say, I hope you've all been well. I'll pick you back when that's done. I am also gonna do the grass outside tonight. Um, I'm gonna do that like right now while it's there in the oven actually because the summer is around the corner and yeah, the grass has gotten quite long. We have actually got a few weeds in there as well, uh, which is weird, but I'm gonna get out there, get that all cut as much as I can, get some weed killer down if we've still got any. Um, and you guys might see some of that, might not. If not, you'll definitely see the end product. You'll also see the new door in today's video, the gate that we got put on in for the garden now uh, in this video, and you'll also see a new project that I am starting. Not like a, it's not like a major project or anything, it's just like something quite cool and something that I've wanted to do, something that at the moment, and I think when I get to it, you'll understand what this means, but something that everyone's ranting and raving about at the minute. So yeah, I will catch us in a second. that is the grass all cut I will be taking the trimmings to the tip tomorrow after work and um, tea is all served we have got the ah, explained it before forgetting the name of hunter's chicken I think it's hunter's chicken that it's actually called and come out looking nice and then that one just sort of slithered straight out of the packaging so yeah looks nice let's see what it tastes like I have got high hopes for it but we'll see It is Tuesday now, uh, it is currently I think like half, around about half four, I've just been to Stanley in the most painful experience of my life to pick up my prescription from the pharmacy, like the woman, bless her, just kept getting me name wrong, and which is understandable, obviously my name Liam D. McMorton is like, it's a, it is a mouthful and the Morton spelled different to normal and Dimmock as well, a lot of people spell it Dimock or whatever, but she was spelling Liam wrong. Now like, I'm all for a little bit of, like getting my, like I said, the other two names wrong. But I, uh, Liam, she was, uh, like got to a point where I said, I was like, oh, can I see her? Cause they were like, I can't find it on the system anyway. And I was like, well, can I see how you're spelling my name? Thinking like I say they'd spell Dimmock or Morton wrong. And all of a sudden I was just like, well, it's Liam, like L-I-A-M. And she was spelling it L-I-E-A-M or L-E, no, I think it was L-E-I-A-M. And I was just like, I was sat, I was stood there like in just utter disbelief. So yeah, anyways, to sort of calm us down, I went to Starbucks afterwards. Obviously I normally get a white mocha with, I did get a pump of caramel at the weekend, I was like, oh, I'll do that again. 
I get there, oh, we've got no mocha, the stuff to make the mocha stuff left, and I was like, oh my god, it's just one of them days. So I had to settle for a basic bitch caramel latte. So yeah, I've just got home, got the dinners on, always good to get your prep on. Been having a lot of tuna pasta lately. Um, obviously, I'm going to start my like proper diet the end of May because that'll be like 12 weeks until I go on holiday so right now I'm sort of just currently trying to eat around about two well at the minute I'm trying to do two and a half thousand because we're having Chinese at the weekend so I want to sort of try and lower my calories down ready for the Chinese so I don't see a massive gain on Sunday Um so yeah I've brought them down but normally I'm aiming for around about 3,000 calories and that's sort of at the minute I'm just losing about a pound a week which at the minute I am actually bang on, I've been sort of tracking for the last three weeks. I've lost three pounds, so I'm pretty happy with that at the minute. Um, also whilst trying to have a lot, a lot of protein. And I have just gone back to basics with flavours. So I have my clear whey, my clear whey protein. I just have my pink lemonade and strawberry and watermelon. But then with the, like the milk ones, the ones that I like to have with milk or putting me porridge, I've just gone with chocolate and vanilla and it's massive made a massive difference because you just can't go wrong with them flavors so plan was to do a little bit of editing the ipad was dead it's now on, oh hello it's now on like seven percent so i think i'm gonna just cook me pasta and veg so, uh, let that drain and cool off while that's doing that go in the shower and then get up to some editing. So yeah, I just thought I'd pick these up quickly today. I'll pick these back up later on with tea. So I thought I'd pick these up and just explain that little story. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill out, watch a vlog, and I'll catch you in a second. Hey everyone, it is Wednesday right now. God, everyone is like walking past. This is why I've been sort of putting it off. But um, I'm just gonna not waste any time. I'm gonna get into showing you everything that needs to show you and we'll kickstart things with the front of the house. That be Front of the door, look at how much natural light is letting here i said the front of the door that's actually the back of the front door i will go outside and show you that in a second but yeah so much better um just in terms of i'll explain internally like it keeps the heat so much better which obviously means we're not getting as much of a draft like this little section of the house now is so much warmer that even like it's weird but like the downstairs toilet is so much warmer now i think it's just a bit of everything is just much more compact. I'm not having to shoulder barge the door shut to shut it. So now I'll go outside on this glorious day. Look at it out there. And show you the front right now. Yeah, loads of cars were just going past. So I'll just put the clip on the screen now of the front of the door. It does look so much better. And also on the screen now will be a clip of the gate leading to the back of the garden. Just finishes the house off so much more now with that there. We will actually lock that as well now um so yeah that is them the house the front of the house just looks so much nicer now and there's katie with my sliders on and this time like away we actually got some the first plants of the house and these are in memory of katie's nana and granddad so what what are they katie like what oh this is a charlie rose charlie rose that's and your granddad's a and a June rose for your nan, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, because he's actually... In them, so. Oh, did they? Well, yeah, because it, it Is that was just because they're drying off? It's, oh. I think it's just got more compact as the rains yeah. need them, so it's kind of exposing the root a little bit oh, more. Oh, fair enough. Which it wasn't, so... And yeah. you can see, because I did have it up to that line. Yeah. And it's now well below, so I need to get some more compost. Oh, fair enough. Just to top it off. Yeah, but, yeah. so... No. What? Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much everything caught up. The patio needs a good little wash down now. But yeah, we will do that in due course. But yeah, I mean, I'm gonna put it on the screen again now, but the front of the house just looks so much better. Um, like the new door, like just, I think it's just because we got so used to like pretty much, well, everyone having the same door, it just makes you sort of, you just, I don't know, like you just, everyone has the same and then that little bit of, well, I say a little bit, it goes pretty much from the bottom of the door to the top of the door. That bit of glass is just so, I don't know, it just, it brings everything in, like even just from the inside, like you will have seen, just brightens that up, up a bit more. 
it, and like even in the winter, which we only had a couple of, for a couple of months in the winter, um, just looks so much better. But yeah, the last thing I need to show you is, is the downstairs toilet. Now, Katie has literally just said, ignore the floor. We are actually in the process of getting that changed, but when we change this floor and we're gonna change the hallway floor and, and potentially the kitchen floor, which will kickstart the kitchen renovation, that is the next big project. Um, just sort of quickly wanna say sorry for not filming this. I was really in sort of my hiatus phase on YouTube, so I didn't actually film, like, so we did film it, Katie did film it, but it like when I was going through it, some of the clips were like from two or three months ago that actually would have been in a vlog. And then it went from like, it just being a plank wall to the paneling being on and we were putting the dado rail on. And I was just like the best, the, the bit like when we did the, the downstairs sort of transformation, the bit everyone loves is the actual panel and going on the wall, like to see how you do it and to talk through. But because like myself was just like, oh, I just can't, really couldn't be bothered to pick the camera up, was just in a bad place. I was like, ah, uh, just like, I'll just see what, what's what. But it ended up being a fail, but yeah. Looks, I'm gonna put a before picture on the screen as well now of like the, what it looked like with the, that stick on tiles, which were just a fail. Like they, they, they didn't really look great. And I, I was never a fan of them from the off, but it was just something that we experimented with. And yeah, it just didn't really, didn't really work. So I'm buzzing that we've got this change. And it also made good use of the spare panel in that we had. Have we got any spare left? Spire. Spire? Any spare panel in left? Yeah. Oh, we have. We've actually got some left, so, so we might. We've got a few more of that size. Yeah. And then we've still got some of that big size. Big one. Like the big stuff. Oh, well. We'll take all of it to get that. So, yeah, I'm going to try and get like high up or something. Like I say, the flooring will change. And I'll actually show you that right now. Um, the I think some of the options we went through, but we did actually pick some new options up this weekend. <sighs> The new ones. Oh, these are the new ones, yeah, and the other ones are in there. So I'll just show you the new ones, and if you want to see the old ones, just let us know. Yeah, I think it was in like one of my more recent videos. Um, so at the moment, what an angle. Um, at the moment, we're thinking, like, as you can see in that right now, we've got the wooden style lino on the floor, and then the white lino on here. I'm just going to say this right now. I 100% just wouldn't recommend any form of light lino. It just, well, I always went yellow pretty much straight away, didn't it? Like, as soon as you give it that first wash, it's like it just stains the lino. I just think it looks horrific, if I'm being honest. Like, like you say, if you do any decorating, which you obviously well, are going to, I know you didn't. We, we didn't cover yeah, it. Yeah, true. We well, didn't cover it because I think we knew. But like, if you were doing decorating and you did, you accidentally like, uh, you know how easy it is just to kick the like the sheeting that you've got on the floor, and then all of a sudden a bit of paint spills in that one place, and all of a sudden it's just. Yeah, I didn't make. I don't know. I just think it. It's just because it's white. It's like what people say about white cars. They just look dirty straight away. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Just lino, by the way, if you have like white tiles or something, I'm sure they would like tiled flooring. I'm sure that'll clean amazingly. It's just the lino, it's isn't the it? Like it's, it's the texture of the lino. Yeah, just the lino. But yeah, anyways, the samples, I think, which it was this one that I really liked, one of I really liked that one, and Katie liked that one. She was originally wanting it to flow through, so it would be the same, mm -hmm. but I think we're actually changing it now, because I think whatever uh, flooring we're getting here, we're actually gonna go for in the kitchen armor as well. Well, either that or we'll get one that flows between the two, and we'll get the other one. For the kitchen. Um, but we are gonna need to go back, because we wanna get the kitchen the same as like obviously the countertops, the colouring as the countertops. But yeah, that is pretty much everything caught up. This clip has been extremely long, um, but I just thought I'd, ha I'd catch you up on everything straight away while the weather's nice because I was going to yesterday, then the camera died. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. I'll catch you when Right, everyone, so Katie has just 
inform me tea is done. And we are having an absolute classic tonight. Oh, lasagna. Katie prepped this this morning before work. It is ready. We're going to tuck into it now. And that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed. I'm just currently on editing it now. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, and yeah, remember to leave a like if you did. Comment any comments that you have down below. That you're happy to see my face back on your screens. I'm going to enjoy my tea. And I'll probably catch you next Easter with the next video. So I'll catch you tomorrow.